At Blotch Wireless and Samsung introduce the Z Flip 3. The Z Flip 3 is an actual flip phone that, when open, reveals a stunning 6.7 inch touchscreen for the best of both worlds. To find out more, visit AppalachianWireless.com. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The Challenger Learning Center of Kentucky, located in Hazard, is currently in the middle of a capital campaign which aims to raise funds so they can continue their educational endeavors. Mountain Top News caught up with Tom Craven, director of the Learning Center, for more information on this fundraising campaign. Yeah, we have kicked off a capital campaign for the Challenger Center. Uh, we have been here for 23 years and we're trying to secure, secure our future for the next 20 or 23 years. So we're asking the public to help us with that. Uh, we have a goal of $2.25 million. Uh, the good news is that we have raised about 1.9 million already and that we have about another $300,000 uh, to raise to meet our goal. Craven says that Challenger Learning Centers provide a unique learning opportunity for the students of our region. Well, uh, our Challenger Center is one in a network of around 40 Challenger Learning Centers located around the country and around the world. Uh, they were started by the families of the Challenger astronauts and it's meant to carry on the educational mission uh, of that Challenger mission that had Krista McAuliffe, the teacher, on board. Uh, so we've been operating here in Hazard for 23 years now and serving all of Eastern Kentucky. And our main program we do is a simulated space mission. Cravens also hopes that the work done at the Learning Center will encourage children to become interested in the studies of math and science. It's well documented that the Apollo missions in the 60s and 70s inspired a whole generation of young people to pursue math and science careers and we think that um, Artemis will do the same thing and our students here in Eastern Kentucky will have a much uh, greater um, connection with the Artemis missions than we would have had back in the 60s and 70s. For more information on their events and programs or to donate, Cravens encourages viewers to visit them online at www.clcky.com. For Mountain Talk News, I'm Joshua Sloan.